welcome back. Competing in an Ironman competition is a challenge for anyone, but I want to introduce you to a Utah woman who has taken the competition to a whole new level. Elena Williamson fulfilled one of her lifelong dreams by participating in the Ironman competition, and she did it with leukemia. Hard to believe. Congratulations. Thank you. That is quite an amazing story. What did your friends and family say when you told them, I have this diagnosis and I want to do this competition? Yeah. You know what? For me, the Iron Man was kind of a way to say, take that cancer. I'm not going to let you beat me. And um, so everybody was actually really supportive of it. And my husband and I have both been athletic and done marathons and that kind of thing. And so he signed up as well. And we trained together and competed together. So. I've, I've watched them on TV. I can't imagine actually doing them. What kind of challenges did you face with having leukemia and trying to do such a grueling task? Um, the biggest, I, I get tired, extremely tired mm. sometime and so, sometimes, excuse me, and so that was hard um, at some points because in the highest training periods, it's a part-time job, 15 wow. to 20 hours a week that you're spending training. So that was difficult but um, enjoyable too. I, I loved the whole experience and the training and it was just a great great experience all around. So. Take me back to that day when you crossed the finish line. What was going through your head? You know, I, I was just so appreciative and so happy and I knew that there were people all over that were watching online and cheering for me and praying for me that I would finish and it was just the culmination of everything and I actually had tears in my eyes. I started crying. I was just so thrilled and my kids were there to watch me and they were there the whole time when we were training and, and really supportive and so it was it was just you know almost not real but very happy exciting moment and at the Ironman they do call you an Ironman so um, <laughs> so the announcer says Elena Williamson you are an Ironman and then I just kept hearing that over and over as I was training that someday you know they'd give me my medal and say that so. they, and they said and they it. Did. you yes. earned it yes and your kids were there. They wrote up a sign for you right you as you crossed the finish line. Yeah. Having their support, knowing that they were there to watch you, and you're, you're their mom. Yeah, it was really cool. Iron Man is quite a spectacle. It's huge. If anybody ever gets a chance to go watch one, you know, in, in person, they're just amazing. And everybody has a story. Everybody's inspiring. There were people there who inspired me. Um, but to have my kids there, it was really cool. My oldest two sons that are almost 15 and almost 12, um, you can compete in one when you turn 18, and both of them have said that when they're 18, they want to. So we'll see if that happens. But for them, I think it was a good lesson. And really for anybody that if you try hard enough and you work hard enough, you can accomplish anything that you put your mind to. And they saw us, you know, I mean, you can't just sign up and say, I'm going to do this. You have to really put the hours in training. And they saw us do that and then saw that come to fruition that we finished. So. How are you? You look great. Thank How you. are you feeling on the inside today? You know, I'm, I'm doing really well. I have an odd cancer. It's CLL, which is chronic lymphocytic leukemia. So it presents in my blood and in my lymph nodes. Mm. And it's still there, unfortunately. I'm praying for a cure. Um, but it's slow growing, so that's the good news is it's a slow growing cancer that does present some symptoms that I have to deal with, but for the most part, I can just continue on with life and um, training. And I honestly do every time I'm out on my bike or running or swimming, it, I mean, every day I think about the fact that I have cancer, but I always think that I am, that's my way of fighting it because right now I'm not in treatment. They're putting that off as long as possible. Right. And um, what the doctors have told me is that as healthy as I can be and as strong as I can be when I have to go through chemo, yeah. I will do better. And so for me, it's actually my way of fighting cancer, too. You are beating cancer. You're telling cancer, take that, and you're inspiring people while you do that. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing Thank your you. story. Thank you. Appreciate it.